Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing really well today. I'm so excited to be filming this iMats haul for you. I have a few other videos that are going up because I just got so many things at iMats. I didn't want to make a really, really long video. I'm trying to break it up. And that way, if you're interested in learning about what I got from a certain company, you can pick and choose which videos you want to watch because I know not everybody has enough time to watch everything in the world. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about a lot of the eyeshadow things that I got. So um, the first thing that I want to show you is from Saucebox. It is a new palette that they just came out with and in fact they said that the first time that I think that they were selling it was at iMats and it's uh, an eyeshadow palette called Etude. So it uses the same kind of packaging that they've used for all of their things. It's got this really cool girl on there and it's just a neat package. Uh, it's like a cardboard package where you can actually take out all of the eyeshadows individually if you wanted to. But this is an entirely matte palette, which is something that they've never done before. There's like a white, there's like a cream, which is actually pretty, pretty white. And then there's, um, there's like a really neutral brown down here. There's one that's got a little golden tone to it. Uh, both of them are fairly neutral, but this one's a little oranger and that one's a little golden. And then there's like a light cream there. And then there's like a taupe color right there, a taupey gray, and then a black, and then a kind of a maroon type color there. So all of these, just like all of Saucebox, all of their eyeshadows, I'm trying to get them all swatched for you. There's that one. I just barely touched each one. They're all very pigmented and everything, just like you would expect. Uh, what I would say, I've actually used this a lot, and I used it for the eyeshadow look that I did today. It's just really simple, but it just looks really classic, I think, and really nice. Um, I will say that they blend fairly well, not the best of any eyeshadows that I've ever used. I, like I would say my Naked Basics palette blends a little bit better, and probably the Tarte palette that I just got, the Magnificent one, I feel like it blends a little bit better than these as well, but they're not bad at all. Um, and I will also say that they're pretty powdery eyeshadows, and so if you're someone who that is really bothered by that, then you might be put off a little bit by this palette. I think some of the shades are more powdery than others. For example, the lighter ones. I don't know if you can tell how much I've already used this. I don't know if it's going to show up for you or not in the camera, but I've used this a bunch, but it still looks like I've used it an awful lot for what I have used it. Just It just seems to be really powdery. If I dip my brush a couple of times, there's powder all over. Uh, so if you're put off by that, then you know, be aware. It doesn't bother me that much. I still really love this palette. I think it's great and I was excited to get it. And then I got a bunch of stuff from Naked Cosmetics. I picked up their own little shadow base that they have. It's an odd thing. It comes in a little container like this and it's sort of like a waxy sort of a texture almost. Or it's like creamy but waxy. It's not the same as as they usually are. Like usually you put them on and they set and this is sort of it's like enough stickiness to kind of hold their pigments. The 3D sparkles are like this really awesome sparkle glitter stuff that isn't actually a color. It's just like sparkle but then it's got like the essence of a color. Like mine was gold uh, was sort of like the tint to it but it wasn't actually gold. They're just the most amazing glittery, reflective, cool things I've ever picked up. So I wanted to pick up all their colors and unfortunately they were out of them, but I totally recommend those. Uh, you should check them out if you're interested in something like that. But I did pick up several of their other stacks and uh, one of the stacks that I got was something sort of similar where it's like a glittery kind of reflective thing, but it's not and it's got like the reminiscence of a color, I guess, or like a hint of that color without actually being that. And so that looks like this, but these are more like pearly looking. The other ones are glitter. This was supposed to be like a gold tinted sort of a shimmery material. And then I had one that was like blue tinted, same kind of thing, pink, purple, I think, uh, I don't know. There are just several of them and they all kind of look like they're light colored, but each one has like a little hint of a different shade to them. And I also got two other stacks and the other stacks I got were one that was basically just glitters. So this one is, it came with a bunch of different colors, but it's got like basically a pink glitter there. And Actually, both of the stacks that I got were just glitters because I just really didn't have any and I wanted to have them in case I wanted them for like Halloween or whatever. Um, a lot of them were really pretty colors and like here, this has got like bright, bright colors like the blue and the purple and the green and there's a black glitter and there's a darker blue glitter there 
and then I got the other one had like gold and red and so I now I have a really nice selection of different glitters that are all really nice and they're pretty fine as far as glitters go I don't like the glitters that end up being really chunky so um, those I was happy with then I stopped by Makeup Geek and I own almost all of their products pretty much so there wasn't a lot for me to buy there but I did find several eyeshadows um, that they weren't sold out of yet that I didn't have and one of them is called Unexpected and it's just a light mauve shade and here you go let me see I don't have any primer on my hand or anything like that they're of course all really pigmented um, the other one this is called cupcake it was a light pink I'm gonna love that I love using a light pink like on my lid and doing a look this one's called bling and it was another highlight shade um, shimmer shimmer is the one that's the most popular which I really love too but this is another highlight shade that's not as um, light not as shimmery I don't think and then this one's called hipster and I haven't even actually taken these out of their containers yet because I was waiting to show you guys and then pop culture is a purple color actually I'm gonna take pop culture out because I remember it being sort of special in some way so let me swatch it for you I can't remember what it was but yeah it's sort of it's sort of shimmery and it almost looks iridescent but it's not I don't know how to describe it it's really interesting though it doesn't it doesn't come off quite as bright as it seems in the pan but it's it's not something that I'm disappointed by it's just a unique kind of thing um, but be aware that if you look for that pop culture one and you're thinking you're getting a bright purple it's not quite as bright when you actually swatch it it's more like I said a little bit more dull like iridescent and I kind of fairy like to me without being straight up duochrome or straight up iridescent and then the last thing that I got from Makeup Geek was actually uh, pigment. Sorry, I'm trying to get it out of its packaging. Most of the stuff that I'm showing you guys in all these hauls is still in the packaging. I've tried to keep them in there for the haul. Um, this is called Liquid Gold, and I got this because I thought it was a very unique color as far as the pigments go. Of course, their packaging is really messy. I kind of wish it was in a sifter or something, but, you know, it is what it is. And this is kind of like a really greeny gold. Um, it's very unique, kind of like antique -y but greeny, and it's just so pigmented and smooth. Like this is such a smooth pigment. It's really nice. I like it a, an awful lot. And so I picked that up. That was the last thing that I got from Makeup Geek. And then the um, I got two things from Sugar Pill. I didn't go Sugar Pill crazy or anything, but there were two things that I'd been wanting for a long time from the internet. One is called Goldilux, the pigment and it is another gorgeous gorgeous pigment and it is just a real true gold really pretty right there so you can see next to each other you can see that this is a little it's like a funky gold color like a little greeny but it's really unique um, but Goldilux is right there and then and then I got one eyeshadow which I love their packaging how cute is that and it's called Kitten Parade so it is like a really pretty, uh, almost like orgasm actually, like in that shade family, peachy pink. You could even use this like on top of your blush as a little bit of like a highlight probably. It's like really reflective, but it's, it's in that same family where it's like a peachy pink with gold. So really pretty eyeshadow. And then the last company that I'm going to show you guys about in this video is one that I thought was so cool. I was really excited to find out about it. It's actually called... Uh, tattoo you so I don't know I, I don't particularly like their branding what they are calling themselves it looks kind of cheap and I'm not a big fan uh, just tattoo you but their products were pretty awesome at least the things that I picked up um, one of the things that was really awesome if you're into brights and neons and stuff they had the most the brightest neon eyeshadows like you will ever find I mean these were pretty stinking amazing let me swatch them for you just to show you um, this one is called, so these are called Color Play, and this one is called Silly Girl. So this is definitely the brightest, and I have some bright, I have some really bright, and okay, this is no base or anything like that. They're really creamy. There it is. They are so bright, so bright. That's what it looks like in the thing. So, and these are going to like really pop. If you use them on top of a a white base or something and this is with no base like I said I just swatched it once and that's the yellow that's really hard to find a yellow like that and then the orange is and these are really really creamy too like they're creamy a little bit powdery 
here I'm just sticking it on right there and that's the orange in the container I hope these show up bright for you guys in my monitor it looks not nearly as bright as they look in person so this is the green and the green is called rave party if I forget to tell you guys any of wow that looks bright actually in the monitor <laughs> these two are showing up really bright in my monitor but the other ones didn't look so bright but they do in person I, I promise all of them do and then I got a really pretty eyeshadow they had eyeshadows that were pressed they looked like this and this one was called tangerine and this one is really unique it's like a fairly bright a little bit more brownish orange than it's not as neon as the one that I showed you but it had these really pretty tiny tiny gold glitters in it that just made it a really unique color and super pretty if you see it in person and then the thing that I loved actually the most though that I got from them are actually their blushes. I got two blushes. One is called Wired and one is called Naked Kiss. Naked Kiss is a little uh, peachy and Wired is, I don't know, um, more neutral, mauve kind of a color. So Wired, Naked Kiss. These are so pigmented. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell from my fingers. I've kind of swatched everywhere. I hope they're not getting... So that was Naked Kiss and Wired. They always look a little different when you swatch them on there. So, okay, Naked Kiss is over there, Wired is over there. And these are so pigmented, they seem to last a really long time. I mean, I put a little bit on, not expecting much out of it, and I wasn't really paying attention when I got back to my hotel room, and I had like bright orange on my cheek. I mean, these look like really, really, like nothing special in terms of pigmentation or anything. Like, they don't look like very bright colors, they just look like pretty average, but these are so awesome. I really like these. I would really like to try their entire blush range, actually. I would really be interested in picking up all the rest of those. But anyway, so I was super, super impressed by them. They were like probably the one real surprise company that I wasn't expecting to see that I was so impressed with out of all of them. I was uh, pretty impressed with Dose of Colors, too, which had lip products. Um, but these guys, I, it was like a real surprise that I liked their products as much as I did. Um, anyway, that really concludes this video, and I'm going to come back with one more iMats haul video, which is going to have my eyeshadow brushes, and I already did a couple of other ones, so I'm going to put links to all of these videos in the description bar of this one, so if you're interested in checking out those other products, uh, please feel free to do so. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments about the products, please leave those below, and I will be happy to get back with you if I possibly can. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!